What's up guys, Grubsnake here, bringing you a quick little unboxing slash first impressions video of the R4 STHC for 3DS and DSi 2013 edition. As you can see, the case that it comes in is very nice and shiny, and it gives you all the specifications about the card itself, and what systems it works for, and different details about the website it's manufactured on. This is the most recent card from the i4 team, and the R4 and the Ace card team I believe it is. Um, they've been working on cards together for a couple of years now, and this is the most recent product that supports the 3DS. Um, you can tell that this will work with any dashboard at all because it has the 2013 sticker on it. Because of this, uh, no matter what firmware you own on your 3DS, the card will still work. Along with the card comes the Happy Fun Box, which is basically a microSD adapter card. This is useful if you don't have an actual adapter for your for a larger SD card, and it is the only way to transfer files between your computer and your micro SD card if you do not have a larger adapter or your computer does not fit the micro SD card. So here I place the R4 inside the 3DS itself. Um, the the R4 card itself is very reliable, and I do not notice any sort of grating on the um, internal. A cart slot inside of my 3DS system. Um, I have some trouble sticking it in here because it's difficult to hold um, a camera while filming and uh, and sticking things inside of my 3DS. So the cart does not appear immediately because I didn't stick it in full all the way. So in just a moment I will take it out, but before we do that I'll explain why this card is called the dual core. Like why it, it says that it has a dual core on it. Basically, this, the way the card works is, um, normally, in other cards aside from this one, there would only be a single core in those cards, and that core would be used to run both the firmware, the save games, the cheats, and the games themselves, and whatever other applications you might have running at the time. But the way this one works, and, and because of that, the, the, the core and the processing would have to uh, siphon out the different tasks, and it would cause the games to run slower than they should have normally. But with this cart, the games run beautifully because one of the cores is stored for the firmware itself, and the other core is used for the games them themselves. So it basically just allows for much smoother running of both sides of the system. As you can see, the cart appears as the SpongeBob game, which is basically the way that the exploit works to let the card work on a 3DS, similar to how the homebrew channel works on the Wii with the game similar to how uh, the Brawl exploit and the Lego Indiana Jones exploit works. It's very similar to that, only just on a, cons on a handheld instead. So as you can see, I've loaded up Super Mario Kart here to show that this card actually works. Um, it, with a certain tool, you can dump all of the games that you own um, into ROM files and stick them straight onto the SD card, or if you do not have that tool, you can just download them online. But make sure not to download anything that you do not own because piracy is illegal, as you know. So, as you can see, I'm just messing around with one hand, showing you that every single button on the system itself works with this um, emulation running. And this card, as you can see, is very reliable. It will work. It works wonders on your 3DS and probably on your DS and DSi. I have not tested it yet on any other systems, but on the 3DS itself, it's beautiful. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, thank. Uh, I hope you learned a bit about this card, and I would highly recommend it to you if you're looking into buying a 3DS flash card. See ya.